I'd like to say good morning. I'm used to saying good morning. That's what starts me. It's not morning anymore. <laughs> it's been kind of a crazy day and I, I kind of got behind. So I almost thought about not doing anything today and then I thought, no, there's something that keeps poking its head in at me and so I'm going to go ahead and pop on anyway and see if I get anybody that wants to listen. <laughs> Just a little encouragement from those lessons learned through the valleys of my life. This one comes from the book too. The idea of it came up. That, link, that anchor light book, that one that I keep showing you backwards. <laughs> I hope you guys will get a copy of it and enjoy it. I'm thinking of the one that's called, and I'm not going to read it today, but the one that's called The Crow's Nest. And the whole idea of that chapter was rising above. We look back on our lives and we we think, you know, we've just made so many mistakes. And we're afraid to step out because we're afraid to make more mistakes. We think, well, we just... Look at all the crazy things we've already done. We kind of lose trust in ourselves. So that chapter is all about that moment of letting go. Rising above, being the crow's nest, is all about the captain of the ship. And he had been through a terrible storm. And as he surveyed all of the damage from the deck, from the kitchen, from the galley, everything was just a mess. Things were broken. There was all kinds of damage. The storm had been really, really bad, and it had really wreaked havoc on the ship. And looking at it from that angle, it was hard to, to even think about how... He could recover from all of that damage, how the ship would recover. Could they could they make it? Could they get through it? And at one point he just decided he was gonna climb on up to the crow's nest. And when he got up to the crow's nest, he looked at it from a different angle. And he saw it completely different. He saw that his crew was sleeping there all over the deck. They had worked really hard. And they were exhausted, but they were all alive. There was no major damages. No one had been washed overboard. There may have been damage in the sails. There was damage to the ship. Broken boards and things may have washed over that they thought that they needed, but they were all alive. And he stood there and he felt a calm. In that moment, he saw his friends. And they were okay. And all of those things that they went through, they were just experiences. They had to work harder. They went through some pain, maybe some injuries along the way. But they made it. They made it, and they were all alive. How much is that like your life, like my life? As I look back, so many experiences along the way. Pains and happiness and joys and things that I thought that I would never get through. And now I've learned that instead of thinking of those things as being mistakes, as, as being punishments, I think a lot of us take that victim role and we think, man, I went through that horrible thing. I went through that really bad when Steve was sick. I was so angry. And I wasn't angry at him. I was angry at me. I was angry at the situation. I thought, I must have done something wrong. I did, And I remember telling him that walking in and saying, I don't know what I did wrong to deserve this. I, worked, I, I went through a, an abusive marriage for 19 years, almost 20 years, and when I found Steve, I thought, this is the one that's going to last forever. You know, I've done something right. I found love. And then when he got sick, I just got so angry. And I thought that I did something wrong to deserve this. Past life, this life, whatever. I just didn't deserve to be happy. And I was playing victim mode at that point. And we we all do that. I wasn't standing in my own power. I wasn't gaining from the experience. I was simply swimming around in the pain of it all. But one of the things that I learned along the way after I lost him was one of the most important things that we can do is to stop looking at things at that angle 
if it's really, really upsetting you, if it's really, really something that you can't get past and you just think you can't move forward, sometimes you have to rise above. You have to go take those little steps, those stairs or the ladder, whatever it is. Get yourself to a different angle. Get up in the crow's nest and look at it differently. See all of the good that came from the pain. See how you've grown, how you've changed, how your light has learned to shine so much brighter because of the things that you've gone through. Stop playing the victim. Get above it. Be strong. And it's when we can do that. When we stop focusing on those things that are wrong. When we stop, you know, telling everyone that we're sick, that we're broke, that we've got all these things going wrong in our lives, and instead we rise up above it and we start seeing all the beautiful things that we have in our lives. I'm not going to tell you that my life is perfect. People can look at it from the outside and think, man, she's a mess. <laughs> I can sometimes think, man, I'm a mess. And then other times I think, man, look how far I've come. Look how far I've come. Look what I've come through. Man, I swam through some shark infested waters to get to this place. I am proud of myself. I am thankful that I am strong enough to get through these rough waters and then rise above and create a more beautiful existence. And even in the hard times, I still look at them as just experiences. I can get through them. I've been through the hardest thing I ever thought possible. I can get through anything now. I'm stronger than I ever thought I was. And, and anything, the whole, everything, the universe just opens right up to me at that point. I'm like Wonder Woman. I can make it through anything and so can you. No matter how hard things look, no matter what you think of your past, you know, stop cutting yourself down, stop talking down to yourself because every one of those things was simply an experience. You might have taken the hard road. A lot of us like to go the rough way, at least for whatever reason. We don't want to just do it the, re this, the sensible way. Sensible is no fun. We want the adventure. And sometimes adventure is painful. But it all, every second of our lives, has value every single second. And we can make it through the toughest times and we can come out shining on the other side. So that's my piece from the book today. You guys, if you see these videos and they and they speak to your heart in any way, please share them out. I'm always happy. I just want to get it out there, get the message out there, give people a little smile every day. Just, you know, if they need need to find a little bit of hope, that's the only reason why I do this. So share it. Share, share, share. Let's get it out there. I hope you guys have an awesome, beautiful, beautiful day. Rise above today. Look how fantastically, amazingly incredible you are. You have come through the storms. You've weathered so much. You're still here. And you're still breathing. And you still have so much potential. I love you very much. Have a great day.